Okay, David, Governor Stitt voicing his concerns over two court cases that question whether state laws apply to tribal citizens. This comes as legislators are headed back to the Capitol Monday to discuss the governor's veto of a tribal compact bill. Our Capitol reporter Haley Wager talked with the governor today. In America, we expect that everyone follows the same set of rules, regardless of who you are or where you come from. But the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals decided in Hooper versus Tulsa that that isn't the case. This video shared across Governor Stitt's social media. You know, there's some that believe the rules you follow should be based on your race or your heritage. In 2018, Justin Hooper got a $150 speeding ticket from Tulsa police. After the McGirt decision in 2020, Hooper appealed his fine, claiming that Tulsa lacked jurisdiction because he was a tribal member. The case went to the federal court, which sided with the city of Tulsa. But last month, the 10th Circuit Court of Appeals ruled in favor of Justin Hooper. We have a system of justice that the Tulsa Police Department cannot write a speeding ticket. That's a problem. In a statement, Choctaw Chief Gary Batten says the Hooper decision does not exempt anyone from the law. It merely clarifies jurisdiction issues involving Native Americans on reservations, according to Congress. Now another case is headed to the state Supreme Court. Alicia Strobel, a Tulsa resident, says she doesn't have to pay the state income tax because she's a tribal citizen. You can't have a situation that one neighbor pays state income tax and the other neighbor doesn't. Multiple tribes are backing Strobel in the case. A letter saying the nation's exercise of sovereignty on their reservations is good for Oklahoma. Stitt says he's hopeful the state Supreme Court will take a hard look at both of these cases. I'm just trying to protect Oklahomans. Haley Wager, Oklahoma's own news.